Hello my crafty friends, it's Crystal with Happy to Plan. I am going to be doing some work in my Cheap Day Chic and Junk journals today and I decided that I was going to do something a little bit different. I mean, not really, but just a little bit. Um, so I've been working on these four different journals kind of at one time. If you don't know, Cheap the Chic sells journals every like six to eight weeks. She does collections and um, they're really, really great. She does like, she basically um, builds a, what what was called a naked journal, um, which is basically just, just the pages itself. And then she gives you all the components to make um, a really cute inside pockets and journals and things like that. So I have actually, I'm addicted to TikTok. <laughs> and one of the things on TikTok is that um, there is junk journaling on TikTok. And then the junk journaling on TikTok is a little bit different than I've done before, where they actually do like paper collages and kind of artwork with paper and different components. Um, so it's not too different than what I normally do, but I just wanted to kind of do that. So I'm just gonna pick a page and just start. Basically, I'm going to just kind of be layering some pages and some papers and then kind of going from there. So I'm not really gonna think a lot about it. I'm just gonna kind of do and just assume it's going to turn out good um, because, you know, it's going to look good kind of no matter what you do. So I'm going to, I'm just going to kind of go for it. Just go for it and not really think too hard about it. So this is a piece of paper from the collection. Um, it was one of the six by six sheets that was in the collection. So I just want to, I'm going to, I'm going to ink everything up pretty much because that's just how I roll. And I like, um, Tim Holtz vintage photo. That's kind of my go-to ink up. Um, I probably should expand my horizons and use other colors, but I just don't. And then I have this um, little um, I don't even know, like little fabric piece that I wanted to include in here. Actually, maybe I'll put it on the edge so it kind of hangs out on the edge. Okay, so let's, like I said, I'm gonna try to do this without really overthinking. That's not usually my jam. I usually <laughs> overthink everything and lay everything out before I do it and all that, but I'm really trying to just, just go with the flow. I don't know how I'm going to glue this on here. I guess, I guess I'll glue the, Each of the lines. We'll just stick that off the page a little bit. I think I want to put just one more little like piece of paper down here. So I'm just going to kind of glue Okay. I have a little die cut set that cuts out like little cute little um notebook type pages um and I I just got it in the mail a couple days ago so I was like testing it and um so I'm like oh I'm gonna use these in my journal so again not overthinking just gonna kind of put it down um 
and then kind of go from there. Okay, I think I want to also use my, I got this new little silicone mat for my, um, what is this called, wax seals? So I think I want to do that too. Okay, so I think I want to, I have, I have a bunch of these little flowers that I literally cannot get the backing off. And I know that there's a way to do it, like with tweezers and stuff, but man, they are like impossible to get off. Oh, I think I did it. I did it. But I was kind of thinking about putting this like... Let's put this over here. Okay, and then I was gonna put these kind of down. Just kind of doing that. Let's move this up. This is just a ticket, so I'm just using the other side of it. And you can tell I didn't pop the hole out. And this is a little punch from the collection. So I figured I would use that in here. So a lot of this stuff is from the collection. The sticker is from my stash and this little um, fabric piece is also from my stash. But I think I actually got it in a, a, a journal kit from Cheaply Chic. So, um, <laughs> It's just not this one. All right, let's see. And then I have this really cute embellishment that I was thinking about maybe using. I don't know if I want to use both of them though. So I'm thinking I want to put the the wax seal like right here. So that might look cute, but I don't want to cover up the holes. Oh, and then the other thing I was thinking about maybe doing is, um, no, I think I will do that. I think I'm gonna stencil, I just bought this stencil at um, the Dollar Tree. I think I wanna try to stencil like right there and I'm thinking I want to do, oh, oh, stay in your little bucket. I'm gonna use the green, this green, it's shabby. I don't know, it's shabby. Shut, shutters, oh, shabby shutters, that's what it says. I can't read it because it's got the gray, like some ink across the name. So I wasn't able to read it, but I think I finally, got it. So I'm just going to put quite a bit of ink on my ink pad here. I kind of just, I don't really want it to be really super obvious. I just want it to be like a little background piece. can't really see it but that's all right um I'm gonna go ahead and put this kind of like right I think I want it over here over here I think I want it like like that so I'm just gluing edges. Let's kind of add some bulk because of these big 
big huge pearls that are on there but that's all right okay so I think this is done And just use this one that's already in there because all right we'll let that sit for a second and then I'm gonna put that right here if you just use the chalk writer and go over it it kind of pops that little um, image out Okay, use a little glue. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little sentiment. I have all of these little sentiments in here. So I'm sure there's something I can find. Well, I kinda like that. Hope for the best. Oh, that's cute. I like that. And then maybe Okay. I like it. So there is one down. Let's go ahead and do, I'm going to do the Sprouts for Joy one, which is kind of my rabbit theme. So I'll find a page. Let's do this page. I have this paper that I want to use. It came from a paper pack I have. I just think it's really super cute. Um, I like the back back of it too, so maybe I'll tear some of it and then use the back piece as well. I have this cute little trim that I bought at the Dollar Tree. And I just, I think this is so stinking cute, these little carrots. Wow, they're bright. <laughs> they are bright. They are bright, bright, bright. Okay, let's, let's put this on the, out the edge. But, um, well, it's not really going to look great. Well, no, I think it will. If I put it just enough on the edge, just so the little green stuff is sticking out. But I do think I want to doll it up a little bit. It's a little, it's a little bright. It's a little bright. Let's see if I can't, let's just use this. gonna see if I can if I use this little shabby chic that's not doing nothing let's see if I use the brown and Because you know they're they're carrots. They were in the ground, so of course they'd have a little dirt on them. I think that's helping. That feels like it's helping because it was bright. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Did that help? Oh yeah, that definitely helped. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, let's bring this back.
All right, let's go ahead and ink this up. I feel like I want to layer this with something else, like another piece of paper. Actually, I think I like that. So maybe I'll put the carrots at the top. Okay, so let's just do that. not to overthink it. Which is very hard for me. <laughs> okay. And then I want to put the carrots just just enough for the little green to poke out of the top. And that's why I love Fabri-Tac because you have some, some give. Oh, see how cute that looks on that side. And then you got your little carrots on that side, darling. Okay. So then if I put this here, Okay, and then I have this little rabbit and I don't, I don't know where I got the little rabbit. I don't, I, I don't, I think it came from a, So then I'm going to put the little bunny next to the basket. Put the little bunny next to the basket. Okay, and then I have another one of those little die cuts that I did the other day with my little die cuts. Um, so I wanted to use that. And then I have this cute little wrap, this little sticker. I don't really know what it says. It's very hard to read because it's gold. So I'm just gonna cover it up. Okay, I feel like I need some flowers coming out of the basket. So I don't know if that did anything. <laughs> I don't know if that added anything. I don't know. Let's Let's add a couple of drops of this wax that's in here. Okay, and then I thought I could put this little butterfly on there. So I'm just gonna fold the wings up. And 
and then just run a little bit of glue on kind of the corners. Let's try the little potted plant. Actually, I'm going to try to color it with a Sharpie. Does that work? I mean, that feels like it worked to me. All right, I'm gonna use this. I don't think I've ever thought about coloring, coloring wood veneer with the Sharpie before. Okay, so I feel like I probably need to add something. I have these cute little words. So I think I have, I'm gonna use these. I, they literally, I've had these for so long. Like, why am I holding these? I'm just gonna use them. All right, I'm not, I'm not in love with it, people. I'm not, I'm not in love with it. But you know what? It's all right. Um, maybe it's not done, but I'm gonna stop because I feel like I want to be done with that one. <laughs> okay, let's do this one next. Okay, so we're gonna use this piece of paper. I am going to, I think I'm gonna cut it this time. Gosh, this feels really thick. And then I'm gonna put this at the top. little corner pieces. I don't know why I have these. I've, I'm going to use them though. I'm just going to put them in the corner. I know this is not what they're for, but I don't ever use these things. So I'm like, well, I'm going to use them. <laughs> Let's put this down. And then I want to put this on the top. I think I'm going to put this one I think I'm going to put this one in the corner cuz I have a plan, I think. Okay. So I wanted to use this little piece of paper because it has that little blue trim at the top. I think I want to cut it. I want to tear it a little bit. I'm going to
Oh, okay. And then I also thought it might be cute to, yeah, I'm going to, I have this little strip that I cut off of that piece. I'm just going to add this to the top because why throw it away? All right, and then I have these cool, like, clear stickers, which I probably won't be able to get off the backing without completely ruining the sticker. And I don't like that it says druggist. I'm just going to tear that part off. I'm just going to tear that part off because I don't like it. So now I'm also just going to tear the end of that off just so it doesn't look like I just tore it. And I'm going to put this down here. And then I have another one like that. And I think I am also well, I'm going to tear this one too. It doesn't want to tear the way I want it to tear. There we go. Not cooperating. Let's just tear it. Okay, so yeah, I already like this one way more than the other one. These buttons I wanted to put on here. So maybe I'll put the buttons up here. Oh, maybe they go down here. Maybe they go the other way. Yeah. So I just have some of these little words. I'm just going to stick them up here at the top. I feel like I need something here. I have this book here. I think I'm gonna use one of these. They have like a blue page in here. Yeah. I'm gonna cut out this butterfly. I need something right here. Aha. This is it. All right. I like that one better. Okay. Let's go to the um the B1. I'm going to use this paper. And it's like perfectly cut. Does there a right way or wrong way? Probably not. Okay, and then I definitely want to use these little pieces. So I think I'll just use those little pieces, but maybe I need to layer. I 
think I need to um, think about my layering skills. And uh, do more layering. I think that's one thing that Lynette is so good at. Like, she starts putting things on top of each other and I'm like, what's she doing? And then I'm like, oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> like, that's what she's doing. I have a, I have much to learn. Okay, let me ink this up. Not that they're, you're gonna be able to see it. Maybe I should use the yellow side. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, maybe I'll use the yellow side. Okay, then I want to get out my wax seal. As, this is a pretty big wax seal. So, um, I hope I poured enough wax. A little bit more black than I wanted it to be. But, hopefully it's okay. Let's see if this works. All right, so the other thing I have for this is I have another one of those little pieces. Um, so I'm just gonna put this here. Let's use this side. So just inked up the other side, but then I'm using this side. Oh well, it's all right. And then I have this little B. Thing. I have this little honey is a little darker than I wanted it to be but we're gonna go over it with this white pen and bring out all of that design Oh, and then I have this too I was going to use. Okay, let's just do it. Let's just stop thinking about it. I'm overthinking it. Breaking my own rule. Okay, there has to be a better way to get these stickers off. All right, and then I feel like it needs words. <laughs> oh, you know what? I have these Tim Holtz small talk black words. I totally forgot that I wanted to use these. So we're just gonna add a couple like, when am I ever going to use these orange? Well, this one to go under this, though. All right. Done. It's totally crooked. Do I care? No. Okay, so that's that one. And then this one. This one's definitely my least favorite. I feel like that that didn't I thought I probably should have layered, put another piece of layer behind all of that. But you live and you learn, as they say. 
and then this one which I think this one turned out pretty I like all three of these this one not so much um, all right well that is all for today's video I hope that you guys enjoyed I'll see you again soon bye for now